MBBS students express their confusion regarding the new qualifying exam, suggesting they should consider attempting next in the following year. Experts argue that the ongoing indecisiveness is causing even greater confusion among students, particularly those aspiring to take the NEAT PG exam. These students have been diligently preparing for the exam for a period of three years and are presently preoccupied with their final university exams or internships. Whether you're a medical student, an aspiring MBBS candidate, a doctor, a healthcare service provider, a parent, or a faculty member, we value your perspective. We invite you to share your thoughts on the National Exit Test, next, for Indian medical students by leaving a comment below this video. Your opinion matters to us, and we appreciate hearing diverse viewpoints from our community. Join the conversation and let us know what you think about this important topic. The National Medical Commission NMC, recently made an announcement stating that the National Exit Test next, will be conducted by the All India Institute of Medical Sciences AIIMS, Delhi. The NMC had previously hinted that the next would commence with the batch graduating in 2024. Following this announcement, AIIMS released a timeline and initiated the registration process for a mock test starting on July 28. However, in a widely circulated video from an event at AIIMS Raipur on July 6, Union Health Minister Mansik L. Mandavia was heard stating that the next would not be administered for the 2019 batch. The statement made by the health minister and the lack of clarification from the NMC have added to the confusion among medical students. As a result, some students have chosen to organize protests, while others have turned to social media to express their apprehensions. The primary cause of the current chaos and panic stems from the implementation of this exam. The authorities should have taken into account that MBBS students begin preparing for NEET PG during their third year. So, when we were abruptly informed that we had to appear for the next instead of NEET PG, it left us confused about how to prepare. However, with the recent statement, we are now unsure whether we should prepare for next or NEET PG, shared Mohammed Mudassir, a final-year MBBS student from Kanachur Institute of Medical Sciences, Karnataka. Abdul Hai, a final-year MBBS student from Uttar Pradesh University of Medical Science, Saifei, Etawa, Op, expressed agreement with this sentiment and further highlighted concerns regarding the marking pattern of the next. He emphasized that students were already preparing for the NEET PG exam, which involves studying over 10 subjects. The sudden introduction of the next exam has compelled them to start their preparations from scratch. Moreover, the marking pattern of the next, including aspects such as negative marking, distribution of marks, and question types, has intensified their worries. Abdul remarked that the new pattern has raised doubts about their ability to successfully pass this exam. Dr. Vinay Agarwal, former national president of the EMA and chairman of the Action Committee EMA, expressed his viewpoint, stating, however, utilizing the same format for medical licensing, particularly with the inclusion of negative marking, cannot be justified. MBBS students have been trained in the subjective method throughout their education. Neither students nor teachers are familiar with or trained in the MCQ method. Suddenly changing the examination pattern will only contribute to the proliferation of entrance coaching centers and shift students' focus away from learning and acquiring clinical skills to memorizing entrance-related questions. Rohan Krishnan, Chairman of the Federation of All India Medical Association, FAIMA, expressed his opinion by saying, 
the NMC should administer an examination to assess the competence of students for registration, while the university itself should be responsible for granting the degree. Universities have been granted permission by the UGC to confer degrees upon MBBS graduates, and they, in turn, authorize colleges to conduct the course. If the authority to grant degrees is not given, it would be unfair to universities that are renowned, have a strong educational foundation, and possess more expertise. AIIMS Delhi lacks the moral right to interfere in the university's work distribution system. However, this statement has only served to increase the confusion among students. The 2019 MBBS batch is now finding themselves in a dilemma, uncertain about whether to prepare for the next or meet PG, due to the seemingly casual remark made by the health minister. Syed Kalander, an MBBS intern at Kanachar Institute of Medical Sciences, Mangalore, Karnataka, expressed the challenges faced by students, saying, while pursuing our MBBS degree and managing internships, we were simultaneously preparing for the NEET PG exam. However, we had to shift our focus to the next exam abruptly, and now it seems we might have to shift back to NEET PG. The situation is nothing short of hell for MBBS students. Experts share the belief that the continuous changes are causing even greater confusion among students, particularly those who have dedicated three years to preparing for the NEET PG exam, while also juggling final university exams or internships. Rajiv Ranjan Prasad, the Dean of Aryabhata Knowledge University, emphasized that the introduction of the next exam was unnecessary, stating, instead of introducing new exams and confusing students, the authorities could have simply combined NEET PG and FMGE. The implementation of this exam is ill-timed, as students should be focusing on practical lessons, but now interns are missing out on these lessons to prepare for the new exam. What is more concerning is the introduction of this exam itself. Rather than introducing new elements, authorities should concentrate on improving the quality of existing medical exams, colleges, and courses. Experts concur that this new exit exam will only serve as a distraction and deem the next as neither feasible nor desirable. Dr. Vinay Agarwal voiced concerns about how this exam will hinder medical students' legitimate right to practice medicine and deprive society of qualified doctors. He emphasized that the ability to practice medicine is not solely determined by exams but by the comprehensive course, curriculum, and training. Being the top scorer in an exam does not guarantee being the best doctor. Dr. Agarwal stressed the importance of ensuring high standards of medical education and establishing a strong connection between medical education and society. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay in the loop. By subscribing, you'll be part of our growing community, gaining access to all the latest news regarding national exit test for medical students. So, join our incredible community of subscribers and hit that notification bell.